So guess what? I bought a pen. Oh my gosh, I said I was going on a pen diet. That's going about as good as my low carb diet. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lori. I love to talk about fountain pens, planning and journaling here on Time with Tana. If you are interested in those topics and you enjoy this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Today I'm talking about a pre-owned Mont Blanc pen that I just purchased. So if you follow my weekly live show that I do with my good friend Vanessa, it's called the Juicy Broads Live Pen Show. We have a separate YouTube channel and we frequently have guests on the show. We recently had my good friend Sid, who I met at the Orlando Pen show who is a young med student who has a passion for Mont Blanc and he does restoration of Mont Blanc pens. He buys them out of state sales and he fixes them up. He's so knowledgeable, such a great guy and we had him on our show. So I just had Mont Blanc on the brain and the reason we decided to call Sid was because Vanessa had recently bought a Mont Blanc Bohème and she had done a reel about it and I called her and I was like, when did you get this pen? And she got it for a great deal at Drom Ghoul's pen shop. She is in the Houston area so she went to Drom Ghoul's and this same pen um, the Boem I had done a video on several months ago because I purchased a fake one unknowingly off of Mercari. It was $150, so I should have known from the get-go that it was fake, but I was a little newer to the hobby, and I just wanted to see if it was legit. So I did a video talking about, you know, is it worth buying pre-owned luxury pens and the risks that you run? I still think it's worth it, but you just have to know that sometimes you can get a fake and of course, the brand that is faked most frequently is Mont Blanc. So I'm always very skeptical. I have now purchased two fake Mont Blanc pens off of Mercari. So my only word to you would be, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. If the person listing the pen has no other listings and doesn't have any record of being on Mercari or any sales history, another huge red flag. But I will say that my money was returned to me both times. Mercari was great about the return. So return them both and in the meantime I learned a lot about the Boem and what to look for. So the day that Sid was on the show Vanessa was sharing her pen um, and I had originally wanted it with the ruby stone. They're synthetic but they have little stones in them. The one that I got off Mercari had like uh, amethyst yeah, I mean, it was all fake, so, but it had an amethyst, but because it was such a good deal, I was like, oh, well, I'll get it, it's such a great deal. It was the non-retractable Boehm. So one of the cool things about the way that the Boehm is engineered is when you take the cap off of the pen, there's no nib, and you're like, what's going on here? But at the back of the pen, you screw on the cap to attach it, and as you screw it on, the nib pops up, so it's really cool. So the one that I had purchased off Mercari, I unknowingly purchased the non-retractable, which as it turns out is the one that is easily faked because the retractable part is pretty complex. Anyway, there was one with the ruby on the real reel. I was very excited about it, but I didn't want to pull the trigger on it right away. And oftentimes, if you like something, they will sometimes send you a discount code. So in this case, a friend told me that they did discount it and it went down 20%, and so I jumped on it the next day. So it just came in the mail, and it's the non-retractable. So I'm having like flashbacks of what happened with my first one, but I did a lot of research on this today, and it looks like it checks out. Um, the nib is monumentally better than the other nib. You can check out that video. I'll link it right here if you wanna see some of the things that I was looking for, but here it is. The reason why I'm a little conflicted is because I kind of wanted that, the little screw back, because I just think that that's such a cute, unique thing to this design. And to my knowledge, they didn't make a lot of the non-retractable Boems. Um, but when I was researching the first one that I bought that was fake, there was a gentleman on Reddit in the threads. I had posted some pictures and I said, you know, I don't know if this is fake or not. Can anybody help me? And someone wrote back and said, I, sadly, I think yours is fake. The first thing is they never made a non-retractable with the amethyst, or I think it was like it had silver hardware, the amethyst one did, and mine had gold hardware with the stone. But at the same time, he posted a link to a resource that had a list 
of all of the Bohems that had ever been made, the year that they were released, and a lot of really useful information. So I will put that link in my description because I went back and looked. There was a non-retractable one in the year 2000 made that did have the ruby synthetic stone. So that's what I got in the mail. And at first, like I said, I was disappointed because I really like that little mechanism that twists. But then what I like about this is that is it, it is a cartridge converter. I believe the other one only takes cartridges, the very small ones, which is the same as what my Bebe takes. And I love my Bebe. But I also love the option to just use whatever ink I have at home. Another tip was the other converter was fake. It had Mont Blanc written as two separate words. This is all branded better. I know that the Real Real does a, a very good job of authenticating their stuff, but I'm still just skeptical. There are a lot of these fakes that are out there. So I feel very confident about this. It had what appeared to be like a carbon platinum ink black in this that's the way that they sold it to me so i took like a good 20 minutes i took like my goulet flush and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and the nib came out so beautiful sorry there was noise coming in from the kitchen um, i cleaned and cleaned this it took me a really long time i finally got it shiny and the nib is like brand new there's no scratches on this it's just beautiful and it writes so nicely i did not see anywhere on here if they're that it was like a medium or a broad but it writes like a broad in my opinion and i put in here ferris will press candy marsala because i had the red stone i wanted to do something in the red family but i didn't want to do like a christmas red this is more i guess it leans more like an ox blood i guess with a little more pink in it this stone is synthetic so i wasn't too worried about the match but i would say that this is more like a brownish red Anyways, it writes so beautifully. It's gorgeous. And the more that I write with it, the more I'm like, you know what? I think it will be nice that it has that converter. I actually think I will use it more frequently because it is a fuller size. It takes the cartridge converter. It's got my stone. It's, it's really beautiful. You know, if the retractable one was meant to be in my life, like maybe I'll see it at a pen show or it will be like a price that I can't refuse. So I'm very happy with this. The other thing I really like about this is I feel like it's kind of a girthy pen. I love my baby, love my baby. But this is truly like a pocket pen, but when you compare these, this is mid-size. This is significantly bigger. I think that the, the other Bohem that screws on the back, I don't think it gets this big. I think it's smaller. I think the other one is more like a pocket size, which is what I thought I was getting. But now that I have this, I just think it's so pretty. I also love how it has the flat finial, um, like my Mont Blanc uh, 149s are beautiful, but they, they're like cigar shape. And this is the finial on this. It's just such a pretty pen. It's very feminine, which I love. I feel like my Mont Blanc collection is growing faster than I ever thought it would. So I have, now I have my 149 that I bought from Sid in Orlando. This is a vintage 149, uh, likely from like 89 to 1991. It has a split ebonite feed. I believe it's a tri-colored nib. The nib is just, I mean, 149 nibs are just the bomb. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Then I bought another secondhand Mont Blanc in a medium nib. One of these pens I'm going to send to Japan for some work, some Raiden, some Rushi, and I think I would probably send the medium nib because I tend to write more with medium, although this extra fine writes more like a fine. The medium one is more modern. I left the little medium sticker on here just so I wouldn't get confused, but you know what I did? I took both of the caps off you know, and each one has a serial number and I don't remember which goes to which. And the gold is very similar on both of them. I could have mixed up my caps, which bothers me, but somewhere I have it written down so I can probably go back and look. But I kept the medium sticker on so I wouldn't be confused. And then I mixed up the caps potentially. But I love, love my 149s. They are precious to me. And then the first Mont Blanc that I bought was this Noblesse. And I, I bought this secondhand. I paid like $90 for this. The clip is a little bit stretched out. What I love about this is that it fits in the 
the little pen sleeve of my Louis Vuitton. I think it's upstairs. It fits in the little pen loop of my medium sized Louis Vuitton agenda and I just feel like it's a very classic, classy combo. And the hardware on my Louis Vuitton agenda is gold and it's nice to just have a high-end pen that I can put in a nice agenda. So I don't use this quite as frequently but it's a really beautiful writer and, and the nib is beautiful and different. It's slender. It's really pretty. This takes cartridges. I don't have a converter for this. I think it would take a converter but I have been just using Mont Blanc cartridges in here. Then of course I have my baby. I think the best place to get Mont Blanc at a good price is Apple Boom. And that is where I got my Bebe. And I got a really good deal on this. The weight of it is so nice. Um, and I really love the vintage style finial. And it has more of that like orangey red color. This is just such a great pen. But now that I got my Boehm, I thought I was gonna have two pocket pens. Now it's a little bit larger, but I love it. When I was looking for a case, for my Bebe, I call it my Bebe, like Moira, but I have to call it the right thing. When I was looking for a case for my baby, this was the only Mont Blanc case that I found that was smaller. I bought this second hand. The Bebe kind of is a little bit lost in there. One of, one of these loops is not so stretched out, so I put the Bebe in here, but this is actually a case made for the Bohem. Now it's really nice because it's Mont Blanc branded, and now, my Bohem fits in there and I was a little concerned that the mid-size one wouldn't fit, but it fits in there really nice. And then the only other Mont Blanc that I have is this beautiful Glacier Duo that I got for Christmas. And it's so beautiful. I've only put Mont Blanc Glacier ink in here. This is luxurious. We did not buy this secondhand, but we did get it for 20% off on Nordstrom of all places. It was literally there one day we purchased it, Jay put it away for Christmas, and the next day I went back and it was gone, sold out. This was a treat to get this on sale, but it's still really expensive, but it's beautiful. Um, yeah, and this is a medium nib. So that's it, that's my entire Mont Blanc collection, but I wanted to share this video with you. Would you keep the Bohem as a non-retractable? I feel like I might use it even more this way. It's a really pretty style. I will do a little size comparison and show you all of the Mont Blancs lined up. We have the two 149s, the Glacier, the Noble S is a little thin one, then the Bohem, and then the Baby, of course, in that order. It's nice to see the size comparisons. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everybody. My battery died, so I'm just gonna give you one final glance here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Does it stay or does it go? What do you think? <laughs>